Hi, this is Reese from Creator Serum, and today we're going to be showing you our form designer features inside of Creator. Now, in February 2018, we talked about client side facing web pages, where it was um, a, a, a portal that you can link to customers and contacts and jobs and projects, and it also have client facing signing off quotes and all these different elements and invoicing, um, getting people to pay off uh, credit cards from a quote and pushing back into your currency system. One of the things we found a lot of the clients have really asked for, and it makes sense, is a client-facing form designer system. That, that just, just um, takes on your website inquiry forms to quoting inside your website. To It goes endless to compliance uh, systems where you, the client, can design your own questionnaire forms internally in a creator, link it to a job, a project, a customer, and yada, yada, yada. Because when you think about it, the, your business is becoming more compliance required. And what we found with other things like SurveyMonkey and all these other elements that people would do, they're not really integrating into your system automatically and therefore the linkages can be a bit lost. Now just imagine and we'll show you that you can actually have a, for example, I'll give you an example where we do a job and before you go to the job you've got to do a compliance form for your um when your workers to do something they may be subcontract they're going to fill out a form after a job of all these questionnaires and stuff you the user can make sure you have a compliance process that you know the red tape is getting more thicker and redder these days and you can actually quickly design a form that you can agile the forms without getting a web designer or a complex process and speaking to another techie to do something it's just going to be all in your hands so we're finding form designers and questionnaires are, are really important becoming a high level requirement of our clients so we spent about one and a half to two minutes to chat about it. i'm going to show you how it looks like for an example and you can i mean the creativity is endless now okay so now i am in create creator serum and i'm in the admin section develop developer in the client pages section so i want to create a new client form so i click on new and click on uh, form builder client page section here now i'm just going to give it a name and i'm going to create a just a designer form i've got i've gone to a compliance form that you guys all have love and deal with when you have to do stuff so for example here's a compliance form that you've you know say if you're a company you've got you have all these checklists and different things and it's very agile each each um John may have different compliance scenarios, so you can quickly do a compliance for X, Y, and Z, and um, you can fill it out here, and you can target to any type of um, table, property table, to whatever it is inside a creator. So we're going to just do that, and that's a form we're going to try to do. I'm going to just call it um, carry, carry out a sanitary plumbing. There you go, save and close. I'm just not going to target anything right now. Now, I can target any table. I'm not going to get caught up into the... Um, you know all the different scenarios you can do. I'm going to make an active so I can show you the the uh, elements and click on save and view. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to got, we'll get a form designer in here. So we've got a drag and drop form designer that we're going to just drop in section. So I'm just going to quickly drag in the header side of this fence and I'm just going to type in a beautiful um, I'm just going to cut and paste on the other side. You can't see one of my screens and I'm just going to click on here and I'm going to click on the little um, paper button, uh, the pencil button, and paste that in. And I'm going to make a big head of three to stand out and click on close on here. So I've got a nice heading in here. The next section is to do a radio button. I'm going to click on a radio button. This is going to give you a number of options. You've got X, Y, and Z to choose from. So I'm going to click on here. And with the radio button, you have option one, two, and three. So I'm going to cut and paste uh, dwelling in here, put it in the section here. Go to jaw occupancy, put it in here. So this is really quickly making your life much easier by doing a nice drag and drop facility. Now these are all happy tablet friendly stuff. Um, so when you add these options in here, you can put it in here. So when you add the options, it just displays where you can have a radio button in here, nice and simple. And that gives you options. Again, this is all web friendly. Notice it's, it's the latest technology. Some of the other per, um, elements that you um, purchase, um, they're all horrible 2090 views type feel. So we've got the latest tech for this one. So we're going to add um, section two in here. So we'll put another heading. So we're going to add section two. So I'm going to click on section two. Now I'm going to get rough here. So for the demo, but you get the vibe in here where I just click on here and just go 
section two. Closing that. And then we may want to put up some boarding around it here. Things like there's little instructions in here that we need to have, like a little paragraph. We'll just start put in here. We'll just put a quick paragraph in here. Nice and simple. Um, so it's nice little spill about the situation. Then you can do other things again. We're gonna for this occasion we're doing modic select um, list as well. But you've got all these elements in here. I'm gonna just do one more just here where I have a modi uh, checkbox. Click in here and we're just gonna add all the options in here in application to install, blah blah blah. Label. Oops, no, that's not label. We go over here. That option. So, a bit of time wasted on the video for you watching me just cut and paste stuff, but you get the idea now where you start seeing the power of it. Um, the section here, you can have a checkbox. Now, I'm going to just uh, pause this and just finish it off with a couple of things, and um, then we'll need to look at the end result. Okay, what I've done is I've just filled as best I can. You can see there's a few sections here. I've done section one to four in here. It took me about five minutes to go through it. So here's the document here, drag and drop that we've got here for the carry out the sanitary plumbing for a drainage work. And I've done one to four in here in this section here. So you can, I uh, could probably put more detail in here, but do you get the idea where I've created a web form in here? Uh, by dragging and dropping this facilities, giving you drop down menus and different things. So what I'm going to do now is just simply save it. Click on OK. Then I'm going to close that here. Now I've just got, this is a, uh, what, what I've allowed this to be is active um, targeting uh, none. You can make this public so you can actually put this on your website um, for filling out of um, your, your um Contractors would have a link on this web page. Now I'm just going to click on the form and there it, it resolves like here. So people can fill the form in here, have a drop down menu, postcode in here, fill the details across, and do tick boxes and option boxes in here, and Mr. and Mrs., first name, surname, and so forth and so forth. Now that's highlighting in red. You can have options to say must have. So you can see where I've done a really quick form itself. And designed it. Now the other thing we can do is that you can. I'm just going to quickly go back to the form designer in here and pop that out. Snap it back. Now with that form designer, what we're going to do is drag and drop. So we'll scroll all the way down and drag a button all the way to the end. So that's like a submit button in here. Now that button there itself, you can do magic with. And uh, I won't fully go into it, but what you can do is that you can um, say click um, OK on here. Um, and you can do things like attach it to a um, placeholder or a, a workflow. Now, workflow is a series of... Um, action so you can say uh, create a workflow and we'll go into that video but workflow means that you can when you click on it it actions that this would create a a job with all the section uh, sections on or a inside a table um, put data into it as well so that is just showing you that you can easily link it to um, any object in your database and we'll cut cover that as well so we can just uh, save that click on that and just refresh so when you go down here, we refresh that. You have a little OK button here. So when you select it, it will then action um, a workflow to do magic as well. So I won't go into that in this video. But you can see here now you have a drag and drop uh, facility that you can put on your website, put questionnaires in here as well, and um, put um, um, your questionnaires into a database and fill it out and then you can do target like your online forms all these different things now the key thing with this is this is just a style sheet um, that we've uh, pre-rendered in here and uh, for those coders in here you can just uh, create your own style sheets with bootstraps and do more prettier stuff and you can have themes and different things as well so um, that is something that you can easily do and if, for example, you made a mistake, if you hadn't seen in the video, yes, yeah, so I did make a mistake in there, you can go back and go, hang on, that doesn't look right. Option two, section two, and section two is in here in, in one section. So you can go, oops, made a mistake. 
I'm going to um, well, destroy it, the form. Oops, no, no, that's all good. I fill it out here, so I'm going to go to this section over here and say that is wrong. It's actually section three in here. This is the section here, section three. So it's all in your power to save that and click on OK, and then um, you will be able to correct your mistakes that you do and it actually actually add section three so it gives you com complete power to have your client facing web uh, page forms um, or internally web page forms easily in your control and it's your power ability to design it really quickly as well so that's going to really free up and help you with compliance and many other things so 10 minute video um, of that it's a bit of an intense one just going through it i'm I look Give us a call because we've, we've got so many other um, things we can use this for. Um, but again, it's much easier for you. It's, it's um, saving you from another application, another area to do stuff where you're going to be, this is the um, area that we've been asked a lot about and uh, we've injected into our system to help you out. Any other questions, please don't hesitate to call and um, keep looking at the videos. Thanks. Bye.